everyone, welcome to Hunting with Air Guns. Um, today's video is just going to be a video on a new purchase that I've made and just basically some information on future content and what's happening with the channel and so on. So I've been thinking about this for a couple of years now, um, been toying with the idea not to get or to get and I seen one on the internet and I decided to purchase it and it came yesterday and that is a wolf compressor for filling air guns um like i say i've been umming and ahhing about purchasing one for a while and i seen this one it was a good price so i went and bought it and i couldn't be happier with the purchase to be honest with you it's absolutely brilliant um we're kind of sick of we've got two big dive bottles at the minute and we're kind of sick sick of having to cart them around in the car having to go get them refilled, having to get them retested every five years. So I thought a compressor would be an ideal choice for us, especially when using the FX Maverick. Um, we get 500 shots per fill with that. So it's literally a case of filling it up maybe once, twice a month, and it's done. So we'll have a quick look at the compressor, take, a few, take you through a couple of the basics, a couple of the basic setting up steps what you get with the compressor and so on and then we'll actually do a test fill show you how uh, how it fills and what it's like so we'll have a look at that now really good build quality to be honest really good so in the box you will get the compressor itself a whip an inline filter some spare filters some for the inline filter, some for the built-in moisture filter, some silicon oil, and a box full of fuses, o-rings, that sort of stuff. So the first thing that you want to do with this compressor is there's a little hole in the side here. Now, if you get this brand new, you want to put three drops of pure silicon oil in there. You get do get a bottle of that supplied. Um, that just basically keeps everything lubed up, everything running as it should. Um, you get the instruction manual, obviously. It gives you tips for maintenance in there, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, that sort of thing. Like I said, this is a 300 bar compressor, so it will fill anything up to a 580cc bottle, up to 300 bar. But uh, by no means is this a compressor to be filling your dive bottles, massive tanks, that sort of thing. It just won't do it. You're going to end up either injuring yourself or causing damage to the compressor, and then that'll void your warranty. Um, if you want something to do that, maybe look at the Hills compressor or something like that, something that's capable of filling big bottles. So, just to start with, pretty simple. I'm going to plug the compressor in. Oh, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention. It's a mains, and it's also... A 12 volt as well so you can run that off your car battery as well so ideal if you're out and about if you're traveling you plan on going to the range or a long show something like that so we'll start now by plugging the compressor in to the mains quick flash of the screen you do see some numbers on the screen and you'll also hear that the fan is starting off the secondary fan just to keep the unit cool so i'll zoom into the screen now and then uh show you a couple of the buttons and how to set it up so when you first get the compressor, there's six buttons on the screen. First thing you want to do is press the power button. You'll see that the screen will light up now. The button here is a set button. Simply press and hold that. It'll start to flash. And here, if you just see here, that's your working pressure, what the compressor is running the gun up to. We've got our set to bar, but you can also set it to PSI timed out now while I was talking click it again you've got your fill pressure two buttons underneath move that up and down so I'm going to be filling the Maverick today so I'm going to fill that to about 230 bar when you're happy with that press again now that's your working amp so you want to be on 42 amp for mains press it again that gives you the option to set your temperature scale um, now these are set about 80 degrees C, so that's basically an emergency cutoff. So if the compressor 
does get too hot, it'll automatically put out. Now, these things will run that high temperature. They do get hot if you're using them for a long period of time. So, with that all said, it's pretty much as simple as connecting the hose and filling the gun up, which I'll show you in a second. So, first thing, I'll just turn this off a minute. First thing you want to be doing is making sure that your bleed valve here is done up tight. That's where you bleed all the air out of the system. Um, above that is a safety device. It's a disc, blowout disc. So, if by any chance your compressor runs, compressor runs too high, a pressure and it feels like something's going to wrong it will burst that disc so the whole thing's not going to blow up your quick fill foster fit in there one thing to mention underneath you see that little brass drain as well that is not to drain the air out although you can use it to do that i wouldn't recommend it but that's basically to any crud any crap that's in the compressor that just drains it out so the first thing you want to do is be connecting your inline filter, quick foster fitting, everyone who knows about air guns is used to that. Now one thing I will mention is when you connect this filter up, make sure you always run it in the same place. So for me, I'm putting this on the compressor end, other people might want it on the gun end. All it basically does is means that any crud, any water, any crap like that, is going to stick to this end of the filter obviously if you swap it round after a couple of runs put this end on your gun then it's just going to blow all that shit into your gun basically and we don't want that we want as little moisture in these as possible so i'm going to fill up the maverick now for you show you the steps on that see how it goes see how long it takes now the maverick's sitting at about 160 bar at a minute so I'll time it on my phone and see how long it takes to reach that pressure. Right, so change of plans, I'm actually going to fill the Vixen up. Now the Vixen's actually sitting about 220 bar, something like that. Now this is a 300 bar fill on the Vixen. So I'm going to fill it up to about 290 bar and see how we get on. Right, so first thing I want to do, make sure I'm set at the right pressure, which I am, 290 bar. So I'm going to press the fan button, start the fan, takes a couple of seconds, the fan's kicked in, now I'm going to start the compressor.
Right, so the compressor's reached its pressure now. As you can see, it's shut off, the screen's turned red. I've just turned the fan off. So the pressure will fluctuate a bit, obviously with temperature. So all that's left to do now is simply Drain all the air out, make sure it's all out. Turn the compressor off, disconnect from your gun, and jobs are good in. So guys, I hope you found that video helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I mean, it's, it's new to me. This only arrived yesterday, um, so I'm still getting to grips with it. I just wanted to give a quick rundown on uh, using it and filling the gun up. Like you're saying, simple, couldn't be any better, relatively quick. No problems at all with that. Um, now, I actually purchased this from Optics Warehouse. Uh, they had a sale on of a couple of reconditioned ones. Um, now, these things retail about 400 quid. Now, I actually got this for £100 cheaper. I think it was 2995 something like that. Don't quote me on it. But they've still got plenty on the website. Now, this thing come, um, and it was virtually brand new. I was absolutely gobsmacked with how good a condition this arrived in. It still had the tags on. When I was running the compressor, it still had that new smell. Um, it still even had the little polythene screen protector over the screen. I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference between this and a brand new one. It was an absolute steal in my opinion. Like I said, I've been after one for a while. I've seen this one, I bought it, and I couldn't be happier, guys. Um, so we'll bring that video, the review part to an end and I'll just fill you in with a couple of details of what's happening in future content, what we've got planned and so on. So sorry we haven't posted a video in a while, we haven't been out. Um, Luke, has just, Luke and his wife have just had another baby, another beautiful baby girl. So he's spending some time away with the family at minute, can't fault him for that, so we haven't been out. But I'm hoping to get out very soon, so if you can drop in the comments a congratulations to him. If, you're, if you follow our channel, that would be a massive, uh, I know he'll appreciate that and he'll mean the well to him. So a few other updates to the channel. If you'll notice, the Vixen is bare. It's scopeless. Uh, that's for a good reason. Um... If, if you follow our channel, if you have done from the start, you know that we run two Arkansas Can't fault them scopes. Absolutely brilliant. But we've decided for a change. So the 3B12 has now gone. Um, I did regret it, but we aren't sponsored by anyone on these channels. Um, everything that we do, we do out, out of our own money. And... Um, so if we need new scopes or anything like that, unfortunately we have to sell some stuff. So I sold that and actually purchased a new thermal scope um, infra by Infrared. We'll be posting a video on that, a quick unboxing and review, that sort of thing, give you a rundown, a couple of things, a couple of um, why we decided to buy this scope. And like I said, I'm not going to put anything on this channel I'm not going to show you anything on this channel that I am prepared to buy and use with my own money. I just won't do it. Like I said, we're not sponsored or anything like that. Um, we do these YouTube videos because we enjoy it and we enjoy bringing content to you guys and hopefully all you people enjoy our videos. So that's our next video. That'll be dropping in a couple of days, hopefully. Keep your eye out for that. If you haven't already subscribed, please think about considering doing so. Uh, drop the videos a like, drop us a comment. We, we like getting in contact with you guys and uh, we'd like to, any questions, we'd we'll like to answer them as best we can and we're always happy to help. But to all you people that are subscribers, thank you very much. It means the world to us. Uh, the channel is growing steadily, not as fast as I'd uh, like, but hopefully we'll get back out, get some content going and hopefully the channel will keep growing. And we look forward to uh, making some future content. So, as always, thanks again. Um, thanks again for watching. Please drop this video a like, a comment, any questions or anything like that. Please don't hesitate to ask. And we'll see you in some future videos. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.